Right now, let's head to the South Pole. A Chinese research group has arrived at the Antarctic to start the 29th scientific expedition with the goal of establishing China's full space in the region. Now, Shu Wenjing tells us more on the arduous journey to the Antarctic. Thinking about the South Pole, images of very little animals, big chunks of iceberg, and imposing auroras may spring to mind. The reality on the ground, however, is quite different. The South Pole stands at the southernmost point of the Earth, which means solar radiation is very low here. With surfaces covered in snow and ice, it is no surprise that the average annual temperature is below 25 degrees Celsius. The extreme weather makes our work here very demanding, both physically and mentally. In 2009, China's 26th scientific expedition chose a more difficult route, suffering the westerlies when at sea. The westerlies refers to a belt of westerly winds between the 30 and 60 degrees latitude. During our travel, we encountered a huge storm which brought 13-meter high waves, which threatened to overturn our vessel. For nearly two months, the expedition team was pinned down under these winds, which made the simple act of sleeping a challenge, a long journey to a faraway land. But they all think it is worthwhile when the South Pole shows her beautiful sight. It is also quite impressive to take pictures like this. Xu Wenjing, CCTV.